Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at PC Linux OS 2011.6 um, This is the KDE variation um, I believe that there are seven different variations um, of the distribution including KDE, LXDE, XFCE and GNOME um, I'm not sure if the 2011.6 um, version is available in all of these different variations um, yet or not so anyhow, I would like to um, just take a quick look at um, all of the default applications and a couple of um, other different things. So we have a few icons here on the desktop. We have um, firewall setup, which I believe you can use to um, restrict what applications um, can access the internet. We have a home folder on the desktop. Um, it appears that PC Linux OS uses the Dolphin File Manager which is, you know, a pretty nice um, file manager. I have no real complaints um, with it. Um, I am running um, the distribution off of the live CD. I haven't installed it yet. I probably won't worry about installing it in um, this video. Um, and let's take a look at a few of the default pinned applications down here. This looks like the Show Desktop button. Configure your desktop. It comes up with a few different options. Common appearance and behaviour. Workspace appearance and behaviour. Network and connectivity. Hardware. Um, I won't bore you and go through all of them. Uh, and what do we have here? Configure your computer. And I quite like the PC Linux OS Control Center. So under sharing, you can configure your, um, you know, an FTP server or web server. Uh, network um, services for, you know, DHCP, DNS, um, a proxy server. You can configure network time. Um, you know, all of your hardware options, network and internet system, network sharing, local disks, security and your boot options. And what do we have here? Uh, yep, that's just the Synaptic um, Package Manager and um, the Dolphin File Manager. We have um, two desktops. I presume that you can change that to four if you wish. Uh, the notifications, there are no new notifications, um, the network interface, uh, the clipboard I believe, uh, volume control, and just the um, device notifier, and we have the um, current time and um, date, which is um, actually wrong, though I won't worry about changing it, and we have a nice calendar here, and it also has um, public holidays. Um, it's currently set to US public holidays, so I'd be interested um, to find out whether or not it will let me um, change that to Australian public holidays. So I'm not going to um, worry about doing that right now. And let's take a look at um, the menu. Um, I'm personally a fan of the KDE menu, the default KDE menu. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, though I prefer it over um, the menu included with PC Linux OS. You have your recently used application section at the top, all your applications and a few um, different actions. You can obviously, um, you know, modify um, the menu yourself, I believe. You know, you can choose what you want to um, display. You could display shutdown or log out, for example. Uh, there are a few different options, like you can change um, the icon if you want to and the format. It's currently named description, though you could have name only, um, you know, description only, etc. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, sharing. Um, so yeah, let's just take a look at the default applications. Um, under more applications, we have configuration, you know, ATI Catalyst Control Center, the configure your computer and configure your desktop options we saw before. Uh, configure your printer, uh, firewall, an option to install it because I'm running off of um, the Live City. K Wallet Manager. Uh, LibreOffice Manager, uh, Localization Manager, Network Center, NTFS Configuration Tool, PC Linux OS um, Live USB Creator, that could um, come in handy, and we do MBR, that must be for the master boot record. Uh, finances, K My Money, Personal Finance Manager. Uh, for monitoring, we have Net Applet and System Monitor, Printing, HP Device Manager. Uh, and terminals, we have console with a K. Uh, for archiving, we have um, ARC and K K3B. Documentation, K Info Center. Editors, K Write. File tools, Bleach Bit Root. Uh, Dolphin, uh, you can just search using find files and folders. Um, Conqueror, I quite like Conqueror. 
and Midnight Commander. I haven't heard of that application before. Graphics, Digicam, Photo Management Program, um, GIMP, Grandview, K Snapshot, um, Ocular, X Sane. Um, on the internet, they give you quite a few different options. Chocock, um, KDE Micro Blogging Client, Dropbox, I like that. I believe it has um, Firefox um, 5. Uh, yep, it looks like Firefox um, 5. Um, and I believe they also bundle a few other internet browsers. Uh, Knet Attach, um, Conqueror. Conqueror is um, a functional browser. It's a bit like a um, web browser and file manager in one. I find it to um, be, you know, very functional. Um, so Conqueror, KPPP, Internet Dial-Up Tool. We have KTorrent, um, Pigeon Internet Messenger. SMB4K, Thunderbird Email, UMTS Mon, Control Your 3G Mobile Devices, and XChat IRC. Um, I thought I read something about um, Opera and um, Chrome in the release notes. You must um, just be able to um, download them from the repositories, or maybe they are in, um, included on a DVD version, I'm not sure. Uh, for Office, um, KCALC, LibreOffice, as you would expect, Ocular. Software Center, Jupe Clean, GUI, uh, LibreOffice Manager, Synaptic Package Manager, Sound, um, Clementine Music Player, KMix Sound Mixer, and KS CD. Let's take a look at Clementine Music Player. Um, I have never used it before, though, yeah, it doesn't look like a bad player. I haven't really seen it in many um, different distributions. It looks um, functional. You can obviously um, play music files um, locally or over the internet, and um, devices that might um, also support, you know, iPods or iPhones. I'm not completely sure. Um, and video imagination, a DVD slideshow maker, a TV time television viewer, and VLC media player. So you will be able to um, play most of your files out of the box, video and audio files out of the box. Uh, favorites, um, recently used, you can run commands, and they have a leave section here. Um, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really um, show you. This is just a quick look at um, all of the default applications, really. Um, I believe the whole look and feel has changed um, quite a bit. Um, and I believe a lot of um, the applications have been updated since PC Linux OS 2011.6 um, Beta 3. Though I haven't um, used any of the other uh, beta releases for 2011.6. Though um, overall I quite like it. Um, this is targeted at um, beginner, intermediate and advanced um, users. Um, you know, it's um, very functional. The one thing I don't like a lot um, is the menu. Though you might be able to change that if you're willing to um, go through the hassle. I don't believe um, any other menus are actually built in. Um, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.